All right, to Ottawa Jeep Speed Shop. Hey, we're gonna talk about rear end gears and lockers. And these are both e-lockers. This is a Dana 60 out of an ultimate Dana 60 uh, differential. So Dana 60 e-locker, 538 gears. This is a Dana 44 Rubicon e-locker. And this is a 410 gear, all stock out of a um, Jeep JK Rubicon. And we're gonna talk about gears and lockers a little bit. I'm just gonna to touch on a couple things. So this one has what I call a two pinion or a two gear, spider gear um, locker, all right? Which I think is weak um, because now you only have two gears rotating along the side gears instead of four. So it doesn't make it so strong for when it's, you know, in non-locker mode because what's in locker mode, it's a spool. When it's not, when you're driving on the road, those spider gears are distributing the load from one side to the other. I don't feel that they're that strong when it's just a two pinion. So it's back to also, you know, the gear here being that it's a 538, you know, you only get the engagement of really like one tooth in there, really. So it's, you know, one solid tooth in the gear and it doesn't matter if you have a Dana 44, Dana 60, whatever. Pinions are still have the same amount of teeth if it's a Dana 44 or Dana 60. So the, the math is still there because you want 538s. It still has to have the count, the gear count to make a 538. So, but this is Dana 60, here's a 44. Now, if you look down there, this is stock locker. It's a four pinion. So there are four spider gears that run around the side gear that's in here. This is the side gear the axle goes in. So there's a gear on each side for that. And then there's the smaller gears that distribute the load from left to right. And when you're driving down the road, it's an open differential. When you put it into locker mode, it's a spool. So it doesn't use these gears inside when it's a spool. So when you're driving down the road, those gears are putting the load left to right rear tire, um, you know, and there's more gear on this side gear when you have a four pinion. So the stock Dana 44 e-locker is a four pinion, which is, I think, stronger when it comes to that. I have no idea why they went to the two pinion on a Dana 60, weird. So I don't feel it's that strong. This one's no good. The side gears are chewed up. They're done. So, and you can kind of, oh yeah, look at that. You can kind of see right there. The teeth are gone. They are chewed up and done. And you can see there are only one, there's only one set of spider gears. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. So I don't feel it's strong that way. So it needs uh, four of those little spider gears on that bigger side gear to make it stronger. So this one, I can't really go inside of it like that because it has all these extra gears inside, you know? So it's taking up all the space. I can't really examine the side of it. You can't really see inside there really. So, but four pinions stronger than two. People ask, they've been asking just recently, does my Rubicon, uh, Dana 44 have four pinions? Yeah, it does. So now we're gonna to touch on the next thing. Low gears only, you know, you, the pinion still gets, is still small, right? It, as the gear gets lower, the pinion has to get smaller and the ring gear has to get bigger because, you know, you got lower gears. This is like your bicycle when you have a, you know, on the small sprocket to the big sprocket. It's the same thing. So this is Dana 44, 410. Look how big the pinion is compared to the 538 pinion, it's really small. So this, when it's engaged, there are two teeth, two teeth engaged into the ring gear, which makes it strong. Now you got two teeth, makes it strong or stronger. So you don't have this problem. So this is a shock load. The wheels probably bounced or hopped 
and when you only have like one tooth in there one tooth is taking the load you know and I, of course it's spinning you know of, you know blah 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 you know what i mean that would add you know the teeth would be you know going in there whatever right but still one tooth te two teeth so it's stronger but the reason why the dana 44 is weaker is the diameter of the gear is smaller as you can see right i mean it's clear you know dana 60 dana 44 you know bigger ring gear i think what these are 10 inch or something like that and this is smaller like under a nine inch ring gear so this would be weaker this would be stronger but this would be weaker this would be stronger so as you go down in gear size i feel doesn't matter if it's 60 or 44 the rear ring gets weaker if you stay up on the ring gear on the gear size you know bigger which the eight speed helps that because we got a lower first gear now 4.71 to 1 so we don't need to go with such a low gear now now we can go with a higher gear makes us stronger so then tires are the next thing right so if you're running a big tire 37s 40s i mean we, we got jeep we got jeeps all all throughout here and everybody's got big tires so we got big tires that is going to be harder on the ring and pinion tires kill ring and pinions not engines so we're not going to get a hemi tearing up ring and pinions as much as tires so if you're running 37s on a dana 44 uh you know you're gonna ask for it. it's a lot of tire i mean it's a lot of mass a lot of weight and it's going to be harder on the ring and pinion so 37s on a dana 44 you're kind of asking for it i think 35 is probably the biggest tire you should really run on a dana 44 i mean people say oh i get away with it of course some people do they get away with it depends on the driving style right but if you know you hop if you hop the tire like you're going up a rock and it's pop pop hopping hey you're gonna shock load you're gonna probably tear up a pinion and that just happens right so i feel engines don't tear up ring opinions because this jeep had a three six so i don't feel like engines tear up diffs tires do so you go with a 37 inch tall tire on a dana 44 uh, you're asking for it gonna happen something might happen you know what i mean but you might get away with it and it happens you know you know you, you drive your driving style will predict that if you're the guy that you know hey watch it we gotta watch this guy with a camera then you're probably gonna be the guy that's gonna have this problem but if you're gonna drive it mellow and you're gonna you know save it you, you'll probably be fine so going with an eight speed don't need to go with really low gears you could probably you know, 35s, 456 gear. If you're going 37s, 48. We never go lower than 488. That's it because this pinion problem. So, all right. I probably talked more about this than I should have, but I'm just touching on um, what responses I've been getting. And this is a constant conversation. Probably going to keep going with it now. Um, and I might not have said all this correctly exactly, but it gets the conversation started. And then we can kind of work through it from here. But uh, this is this is what I find. And this is how I do it. And it works for me. So, all right. Woo! That's a whole lot right there. So, eh, guess what? Jeep Speed Shop out.